And the final participant from Johnson City, Tennessee, weighing in at 230 pounds, Kid Cash! What a relation for Kid Cash! The crowd got absolutely wild! For the former ECW World Television Champion! A 17-year pro, one relation for Kid Cash here in Waterford. Kid Cash, ladies and gentlemen, was trained by both Ricky Morton and Stu Hart, and as a matter of fact, Cash is a former tag team champion in Tennessee with his trainer, Ricky Morton. And what a thrill that must have been just a few months ago in 2007, Kid Cash, back in April of 2007, tag team champion with Ricky Morton in Tennessee. And the bell sounds, and this historic matchup is underway. As I said, what a night. This is for the Blackheart Warrior Mandrake in there with two world champions, two world class athletes. A stare down here on the part of all three competitors. This action is going to explode any minute. Takeshi Rikio, a big man at 280 pounds with the weight advantage in this matchup. Cash also weighing in at about 225 pounds. Mandrake at 213. And this crowd come alive for Kid Cash. Cash was here before in Irish Whip Wrestling. As you know, ladies and gentlemen, he competed in the IWW Zero Gravity Championship Tournament where he had a tremendous matchup with Bam Katraz and a good show of sportsmanship there by Kid Cash. And Rikio now looking for the handshake as well from Mandrake. And the Blackheart Warrior denies him. And so does Cash. Mind games being employed here by both Mandrake and Kid Cash. And quite an off-putting gesture there by Cash. And Cash and Mandrake now double team on Takeshi Vicchio. Shoulder block. Mandrake just ran into a brick wall and so did Cash. Lateral press now on Kid Cash, and Mandrake interrupts the count at the count of one. And Rikio coming right over to Mandrake. Takeshi Rikio known for the Muzo Slam, of course. Mandrake now avoiding contact in the corner, clothesline, and down goes Rikio. And the former GHC world champion heading for higher ground, and Mandrake walked, turned right around into that boot to the midsection. Cash now opening up. On the young man, the Blackheart Warrior head first into that top turnbuckle. Oh my God, what a shot. What a shot by Kid Cash. He lit up the chest of Bam Katraz with those shots a few months ago. And he's doing the same here to, he's doing the same to Mandrake tonight. Boots to the midsection. Vicious shot there by Cash. A quick cover. One, two. Mandrake kicks out, he's right into the ropes. Cash now, attacked from behind by Takeshi Rikio. Kid Cash, fired to the outside, and now the former ECW television champion is in trouble. Cash now taken head first from that ring post. Nothing but steel on skull there, ladies and gentlemen. And it didn't feel good, you can bet on that. Cash now thrown back into the ring. He's disoriented right now. 
Irish whip to the far side. Elbow right to the sternum. Lateral press now. One, two, no. Mandrake interrupting the count. And again, just as in the previous triple threat matchup here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, all men have to come into this matchup with a divide and conquer strategy. And that could be a very good strategy indeed. A drop kick right to the knees by Mandrake taking down Takeshi Nikio. A hook of the leg now, two count is all he can get. If Man Mandrake can successfully work on the knees and break down the big 280 pounder, it could help his cause greatly in gaining a victory here tonight. Nikio now back to the corner. Boots to the midsection by Mandrake. The Blackheart Warrior in control. Kid Cash now trying to get back into the ring. Trying to collect his thoughts on the far side of the ring. Forearms in the corner, here comes Cash. A right to the face of Mandrake. Up goes Mandrake, beautiful belly to that suplex. Lateral press, leg is hooked. Two count and no. Two count only. Cash, of course, known for the money maker, that devastating double underhook. Pile driver that he uses, as well as the dead level brain buster. Oh my good God. Mandrake dropped on the back of his head in a fisherman buster. This should do it. That was absolutely devastating, and this crowd can't believe it. Cash showing you what a tough customer he is. Scoop slam by Rikio, and down goes Kid Cash. Rikio now going for the Boston Crab, laying all of his 280 pounds on the lower back of Kid Cash. Man, I'm concerned for For Mandrake on the outside, now he's back in. Boot right to the back of the head of Takeshi Nikio. I can't believe Mandrake's back on his feet. A quick cover on Cash. Two. And no, Rikio interrupts the count. A cover on Cash again. And Mandrake gallantly getting back to his feet. Cash gets a couple of shots in and a drop kick to the knee on Takeshi Nikio. Mandrake picking up the pieces of what. Excuse me, Cash picking up the pieces of what Mandrake did earlier on tonight, working on the left leg of Takeshi Nikio. Figure four leg knock now applied by Cash, right in the center of the ring. And Mandrake quick to break up that submission hold. Again, this matchup takes one pinball or submission for a victory. That's why every time you watch a triple threat matchup, ladies and gentlemen, any alliances that you see will be short-lived. It's every man for himself in this triple threat environment. Cash now coming right back over to the left leg of Rikio. Cash wrenching on the left leg and knee of Takeshi Nikio and Mandrake putting a stop to that. A stiff kick to the kidneys and a forearm right to the back of the neck of Kid Cash. And now Mandrake with a bit of payback for that fisherman buster early on. Opening up on Mandrake but a big low blow there by Kid Cash. Cash being admonished by the referee, but Mandrake just got hit below the belt. And don't fool yourself, Kid Cash, the notorious KID, is not a nice guy, make no mistake about it. Rikio now and Cash hammering away on each other with those stiff forearms. Cash back to the corner. Irish whip to the far side. Here comes Rikio. 280 pounds of an elbow right to the face. Cash now just disoriented, discombobulated. Up he goes, critical suplex. Tremendous impact, lateral press, the leg is not hooked, and Mandrake interrupts the count with that low drop kick. You talk about an athlete who has unlimited potential, and that is Mandrake. Ever since arriving here in Irish whip wrestling, he has done nothing but impress. And Mandrake now face to face with Rikio. I can't believe, I don't think he believes quite what he's seeing. Forearm shots mean nothing. One shot and down goes Mandrake. Rikio on top and Cash interrupts the count with a drop kick. What a night it's been so far here at Global Impact, ladies and gentlemen. And the action just keeps getting hotter and hotter. Snap bear taken by Cash and a spinal tap. Lateral press, the leg is hooked and Rikio's right there to interrupt the count. <laughs> And retaliation by Cash. Stiff boots to the chest by Cash. Beating Rikio down in the corner. 
The former GHC World Heavyweight Champion is in trouble, and he finds himself on the outside, and Cash is in control. And now it's boiled down to Kid Cash and the Blackheart Warrior one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, and Cash blatantly biting the face of Mandrake right the, right the forehead, and the referee trying to step in there, but Cash just took a big bite right into the face of, of Mandrake. This is horrible. Oh, my God, what a shot. And Mandrake got that one. Rakio trying to get back in the ring. We may see the dead level here, ladies and gentlemen. But no, Rakio from behind. Takeshi Rakio with a series of forearm shots to the back of Cash takes him down. Kid Cash now, face first up top turnbuckle. And right into the middle one. And now the bottom one, make it three. Takeshi Rakio is. Introducing Cash to every turn over that corner, now standing right up with his 280 pounds plus on the chest cavity and the abdomen of Kid Cash. And the referee trying to get him to break it every time he does. Two, three, four. Rakia just lifts his arms right off those ropes. And Rakia may not have much English, but he certainly can count to four in English. Takeshi Rikio now, coming back over to Kid Cash. Mandrake trying to collect his thoughts in the corner. What a shot to the gut, and another one right to the solar plexus, and down goes Rikio. Vicious stomps now by Kid Cash. Kid Cash, no stranger to wars inside the ring, and neither is Takeshi Rikio. As they continue to battle on. A shot by Kid Cash, those reverse knife edges are absolutely devastating. And Mandrake just lay back in the corner here, and you can't blame him. Mandrake trying to pick his spot. And meanwhile, Cash just raking the, eye, the eyes of, of Rakio in the corner, and Mandrake doesn't want any part of it. Mandrake laying low in the weeds, the Black Heart Warrior, that's a smart move, you gotta give him credit. And now Cash and Mandrake double team on Rakio, double Irish whip on the far side. Double shot to the midsection and then the throat. Rakio in trouble. Trapped by Cash. Rakio now to the outside. Mandrake, wait a minute. Just to get another shot from Key Cash. Don't ever turn your back. On the notorious KID, a cover it, no. Mandrake, to his credit, kicks out. The Black Heart Warrior has come here tonight to make a name for himself against two of the biggest superstars in the entire world. Version of a lung blower there by Cash, driving his knees into the lower kidneys. The kidneys of, oh, wait a minute, of Mandrake, and now Cash just literally blowing his nose. That's disgusting. Right on the body of Mandrake. Another chop and a snapmare takeover by Cash. And a version of a surfboard now by Kid Cash, stretching out the shoulder blades and the arms of Mandrake. Meanwhile, Rikia coming back in the ring. Cash doesn't realize it now, it's too late. And a head scissors is applied by Rikio. We've got double submission action going on, and this crowd loves it. Figure four head scissors now by Rikio. Cash may tap out those big tree trunk like legs of Rikio, but no. Mandrake interrupting that with a drop kick right to the face. A cover, the leg is hooked, two, no, two count only. And the action just keeps going and going here, ladies and gentlemen. Double vertical suplex on Rikio, there it is. Tremendous impact, the ring shook. As Rikio hit that mat, this has been an all-out war, just brutal, brutal offense on the part of all three men. And now it's Mandrake and Cash once again. Right hand by Cash, right, right to the side of the head of Mandrake. Irish whip now, reversed from the near side to the center of the rope. And 
both men hit head-to-head, -head, ladies and gentlemen. A head-to-head -head collision in the center of the ring, and both men are down and out. And now the referee must exercise his count. And the crowd getting behind both athletes. And now is a golden opportunity for Takeshi Rikido to get into this action as well. Rikio there on the outside, trying to get back to his feet. The big man is hurt, the referee's up to a count of eight. Mandrake back to his feet first, the Blackheart Warrior now. Trying to move in on Kid Cash. Cash back to his feet likewise. Boots to the midsection. A snap mare by the Blackheart Warrior. Beautiful neck snap. Tremendous athletic maneuver by Mandrake, a hook of the leg, two and four. No, two count only. And Mandrake is frustrated. Hammerlock. Beautiful STO by Mandrake. A lateral press. Do you count it? No, Takeshi Rikio interrupts the count. Rikio now coming over to Mandrake. Four off shots by Mandrake. A slug that's now developing by both men. Mandrake now off the ropes, trying to build momentum. A clothesline. Rakeem goes nowhere. What a shot! And down goes Mandrake. And Rakeem, the big giant, looks like he's woken up. Irish whip. Clothesline in the corner to Cash. Kid Cash in trouble. Cross body blocked by the 280 pounder. Two kind of go. Cash, to his credit, kicks out. The former WWE Cruiserweight champion is still in this. Scoop slam by Rikio. Rikio now to the top. Look out, Mandrake is there to meet him. Shot by Mandrake to the back. Out to Keshi Rikio, the side of the head. Cash coming over as well. Rikio trying to fight him both off. What a tough guy this Takeshi Rikio is. Kid Cash with vicious shots to the side of the head. Out to Keshi Rikio. Superplex perhaps coming up. Oh, wait a minute, Cash and Rikio falling to the outside. Both men falling. Rikio falling to the outside. Cash may have hurt his leg, ladies and gentlemen. Kid Cash slipping off that top rope. It's got to be, it's got to be very slippy from perspiration throughout the evening. And Cash's, Cash's leg may be hurt. Nonetheless, Rikio's back in there, setting him up once again. Cash knocks a clothesline, boot to the midsection, and one back to the solar plexus, and down goes Takeshi Rikio. Mandrake now, and Kid Cash got to get out. Give credit to Kid Cash, who took a, a very bad fall there, ladies and gentlemen, on those ropes. He's back in there, and he just poked Mandrake right in the eyes. Knee to the midsection. Backslide coming up. He gets him over. Mandrake rolls right through, however. Looking for a backslide of his own now. Over goes Cash. The shoulders are down. And he rolls through. Moneymaker perhaps. Moneymaker come in. Oh my God, he hit it. The Moneymaker from out of nowhere. That's going to do it. Two. It's over. Shakes the hand of Takeshi Rikio. What a matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Three world class athletes in the ring, and what a matchup for Mandrake as he embraces Rikio in the ring. What a matchup. All three men appreciating each other. Great action here tonight at Global Impact, as only Irish World Wrestling can bring you. Kid Cash, successful. Rikio. We'll be back soon with the main event, Irish Wrestling International Heavyweight Championship.
decision will be decided momentarily. The Snake Man Big Viper defends against Cena. Global Impact was, I am standing right here next to the notorious KID, Kid Cash. What a war you had tonight, Kid Cash. Triple threat action, Mandrake the Blackheart Warrior and Takeshi Rikio, former GHC World Champion. What a war it was. Well, those guys are former champions in their own right. I gotta give them that. But the one thing that they didn't count on was the KID coming to Irish Whip Wrestling. And they didn't count on the legend of the KID, the greatest, probably, Legendary high flyer back in the day, but see, I don't have to do that anymore. I started it, and everybody followed. So now, I'm a little bit of a different man now. You know, I'm a little older, a little wiser and stuff, so I don't have to get up there and jump off those ropes anymore. What I do is flat out, meat and potato, your ass. That's what I do. Mandrake, Takashi, you found out what it was all about tonight. You are legends in your own right. You are champions in your own right. But one thing you're not, and one thing you'll never be, is me, the KID. Ladies and gentlemen, the notorious KID Kid Cash. We are back at ringside, ladies and gentlemen for this exclusive Wrestling Express DVD matchup from Irish Whip Wrestling in this Ravens Rules Anything Goes matchup. Bad Bones from Munich, Germany taking on former ECW heavyweight champion, Raven. Look out, headbutt right between the eyes. And this is right up Raven's alley. You can bet on that. Raven, one of the originators of the extreme hardcore style of wrestling. A former ECW heavyweight champion, multiple time WWE hardcore champion. This is right up his alley. Bad Bones now in trouble, being beaten down in the corner. Raven with those kicks right to the chest cavity. And Raven looking to wear his boot out on the chest of Bad Bones. And a left hand. Right where the sun doesn't shine, ladies and gentlemen. That one was blatantly obvious. Raven doing anything he, can, anything he can to hurt and punish and maul Bad Bones in this matchup. Don't count Bad Bones out, though, however. Fans, he is one tough customer. All the way from Munich, Germany, as I said, and look out. What fan just got a shot in on the head of Bad Bones. Raven is a very much a fan friendly and fan interactive kind of guy. And those kids are getting a bit more than they bargained for here tonight in the National Basketball Arena. Raven in complete control right now. Ramming Bad Bones spine first into that steel ring post on the outside. Look out, Bad Bones. Oh, you talk about a short ride and a bad landing. That's exactly what Bad Bones got right there. A face full of ring post. And that one will definitely leave a mark. And Raven on the outside. You never know what this man is going to do. False count anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Level of press, do it, though. Bad Bones gets that left shoulder up. Raven now looking for a weapon at ringside. And he's got one of those inflatable hammers right between the eyes. Raven using anything, anything he can to put a hurting on Bad Bones in this matchup. And Bones is punching the air. Is that a pen? Right to the throat. What other kind of weapons can Raven find here tonight? Raven now measuring up Bad Bones, a boot right to the side of the face. 
And this has been all Raven so far in this matchup. And Raven now just throwing crisps and Tato right, right into the face of Bad Bones. This gives a whole new meaning to hardcore wrestling. I wonder if Raven's ever used a packet of Tato before in a Raven's match. Is that an, an inflatable hand? Uh oh. Wait a minute. Oh no. Right, Bad Bones is going to be singing a bit higher after this matchup. He's going to be walking a bit funny as well. Once again, Bad Bones goes right into that ring post. And if Bad Bones cannot come up with some offense in the next few minutes, this one is going to be over pretty quickly. This has been all Raven so far in this Raven's Rules match and a bottle right between the eyes. And you can see the faraway look in the eyes of Bad Bones. He just collapses against Raven. And now collapsing down to the floor. Raven is having some fun in this matchup. And so Bad's now giving, giving a, a t-shirt to, to Raven. And Raven just choking the life out of Bad Bones with it. This is the most crazy, the craziest, wildest hardcore match I've ever seen. Raven even posing for pictures. I guarantee you, Bad Bones has never been in a match like this in his life. Well, that's definitely one for the family album. Bad Bones now at the mercy of Raven here. Oh, no. I could bust an eardrum. Bad Bones heading for higher ground, and I don't blame him. Trying to escape any way he can. But Raven having absolutely none of it. A right handed gun goes. Bad Bones once again. And Bad Bones just got a, a face full of coke that time. Just in case he was thirsty. And there's a, a replica championship belt. Raven using er anything and everything here tonight. I hope, I hope somebody brought the kitchen, the kitchen sink. Once again with a blow up hammer. This is absolutely crazy. What the hell is that? Bad Bones trying to get back in the ring. That may, this, that may be the safest place for him in this matchup. Raven going for the cover. This could do it too. No, oh, give credit to Bad Bones there after sustaining all that abuse on the outside. The tough man survived and now fires off a low blow on Raven. And we are back here with the action. Both men on the outside. Bad Bones in control after that low blow a moment ago. Raven now thrown back inside the ring. And Bad Bones wants to dish out some heavy duty punishment now to Raven. After that offense, he sustained on the outside. Bad Bones from Munich, Germany, one of the toughest wrestlers on the European wrestling scene. Beautiful splash. Hook of the leg, two. And Raven kicks out at two and a half. No doubt Raven has been through the wars in his career, as I said. Former ECW heavyweight champion. Former WWE Hardcore Champion as he lifts the knees up into the abdomen of Bad Bones. Raven showing you his toughness right there, but can he capitalize? Bad Bones quick to come back with the offense of his own, right in the elbows, into the sternum of Raven and now choking the life. Out of the former ECW superstar. I don't understand why the referee is asking Bad Bones to break the chokehold. This is Raven's rules. Anything goes in this contest. A cover now. Two. Two count only. Bad Bones needs, needs to su sustain some heavy duty offense now to, to end this contest. And put a hurting on Raven, and that could do it indeed. Tremendous impact. Running shoulder block right to the abdomen. 
tremendously executed. And that could be the beginning of the end for Raven. That was all impact there, ladies and gentlemen. And now can Bad Bones capitalize? Here he comes once again, and a second time, with that running spear in the corner. Right to the abdomen of Raven, and this could do it. A cover to it. No, Raven kicks out. Bad Bones not hooking the leg there. That could have cost him. Another cover after the leg drop, and no, Raven still kicks out. You're not going to beat a wrestler of the caliber of Raven without at least hooking the leg. Bad Bones now. Sustaining the offense with the elbow right to the back of the head, and now he goes outside looking for some toys to play with. He's over there at the timekeeper's table. Bad Bones with some derogatory comment, comments there for Raven. Dropping all of his weight down on the back of Raven there. Bad Bones now laying down that microphone after all those derogatory comments directed at Raven and these fans. And now Bad Bones, almost 300 pounds of him, laying all of his weight down on the spine and the kidneys of Raven in this camel clutch. Once again. wanting Raven to say, I quit into the microphone, and Raven having none of it. Bad Bones went to the well one time too many there. And he got a pair of boots exactly where he didn't want them. And now is the opportunity for Raven to get back into this matchup. Bad Bones obviously wanting to humiliate Raven. But it was Bad Bones who, who ended up being humiliated. He's in tremendous pain right now. The referee laying the count on both men. He's up to a, up to a count of five or six, I believe. Raven trying to get back to his feet. He sustained some tremendous punishment at the hands of Bad Bones, Bad Bones there a moment ago. Nonetheless, Raven back on his feet. Left-handed jabs and a tornado clothesline. A whip into the tornado.